Hey there, Storm fans. Brent Cook. Today we're playing Dragon Storm, a deck that everyone has been asking for that I've been putting on hold. And the reason is a little bit embarrassing. For some reason, I kept on thinking Strike It Rich was going to be added to Arena. Just in my head, it was something that was going to happen. New cards get added to Arena, right? So, like, a week went by, and somebody that I was talking to was just like, Bryant, you realize Modern Horizons 2 isn't being added to Arena. And, and like, it just never dawned on me that the Modern set wasn't going on in Arena. Uh, so I was waiting for Strike It Rich to be added because I thought it would make Dragon's Room really sweet. Uh, unfortunately, we don't get to play that here in Historic, which is the format we're playing today. Um, so when I first started building Dragon Storm, all of the lists were running the Fork card with Fortel, and then they were running um, Iron Craig Feet. So you would copy your feet, and then you would hardcast Dragon Storm. I bought that list over lunch today, and over lunch I played five quick matches, and I say quick because I got rolled. I don't. I think I won one game in those uh, five matches. And I just got stomped pretty badly. Um, the Iron Crag feet stunk. They leave you two mana short of Dragon Storm, which means you need six mana in play before you even cast the feet if you don't have the fork. And if you need the fork, you need five mana. Come on. Like, that's not good enough. Um, so I was, like, pretty unhappy that I wasted the wild cards on this deck. And then I decided that I was going to play a list a little bit more similar to, um, I think it was the Mythic Invitational this turn, this weekend. There was some large event, and there was a Jeskai list. Um, I don't have the cards to play Jeskai. That said, I wasn't super impressed with the white cards in the deck. Like, Rip Apart is good, uh, but I don't think you need, like, Wrath of God and the Split card and a bunch of the other things. So today I'm just running straight blue-red, a little bit more budget-friendly, and in my opinion, it might be better. Um, it's just, why make your mana base that much worse? Like, it was heavily uh, favored for uh, the Control Mirror. And with time uh, work being banned, I think we're going to see less blue decks. So, you might not need the white anyway. This is what I brewed up this afternoon. I played two quick matches with it, and it's been solid. I've really enjoyed it so far. Um... And the big thing was we wanted some early game interaction. So we have Anger of the Gods and Draconic Intervention. If you don't know what this card does, it's essentially a Red Wrath of God. You exile a card from your graveyard, and then it deals X to each creature where X is that spell's converted mana cost. Each non-dragon creature, by the way. So it has some synergy here with Bladewing, Terror of the Peaks, because, you know, we're a dragon deck. So you exile an extra copy of Dragon Storm and deal 9, or, you know, an extra solve the equation, whatever. Um, so this card's fairly versatile and it's pretty sweet uh, that it can kill things larger than three, unlike Anger. Um, yeah, and another thing I didn't like about the mono red list was the, uh, like, Seize the Day or whatever. It's not Seize the Day. The Faithless Looting that makes a treasure. I'm sorry, I'm blanking on card names right now. It's something Seize. Uh, and then Pirate's Pillage. I wasn't a big fan of those cards. So this has felt m the most like my play style so far. And I feel like that's because it essentially plays a lot like Splinter Twin, where you're setting up early, you're interacting a little bit between Prismari Command, Anger, and the Draconic Intervention. And then on the end step of turn three, you command, you make a treasure, you discard Dragon Storm, and then you untap, you play a Cantrip and a Mizzix Mastery, get three dragons and deal some damage. Um... Yeah, and you have solved the equation to help, you know, m make everything a little bit smoother, guarantee the fact that you find Mastery or Dragon Storm. Pretty good addition from Strix Haven, in my opinion. And then obviously we have our busted cantrips over here. Wow. The fact that Brainstorm's still legal just, like, baffles me. Um, yeah, and then we do have three copies of Dispute. I'm not sure. These cards, like, the Dispute slot is, like, one of the few things I'm not sure of in the main deck. Um, maybe those aren't necessary, but we do need to resolve Mizzix Mastery, so we probably want some sort of interaction. That's at least, uh, my thought here. Alright, so I think I'm ready to start playing. If you have any questions, as always, make sure you leave a comment down below. Uh, and if you haven't already, like and subscribe. It's a great way of supporting this channel. And if you want to support this channel, you can always go to theepicsroom.com shop 
or submit a donation deck. I'm not going to click on the ads. I've done that enough this week. Uh, but hopefully, you know, you would want to do that if you like this video. But I'm done talking for now. I just want to get playing Magic. I'll see you in round number one. Welcome to round number one. We are on the play against Code Gaming. Let's Dragon Storm some people. Uh, yeah, this seems great. Let's try this out. One of the nice things about this deck is that you can always hard cast Terror of the Peaks. Unlike Bogart and Hellkite that cost 8, Terror is essentially a very similar card for 5. So it looks like we're facing red here. Okay. We do have some early interaction. I think that's going to force me to brainstorm on one looking for land number three. So that way on turn two we can enter the royal turn three prismari command. We're going to take one here and then cast the brainstorm. Alright, we did not find the land we wanted. Sort of unfortunate. I think because of that I'm going to uh, faithless looting now. We're likely going to put Terror and Dragonstorm to the graveyard because we can always get back Terror with uh, Rorix, Bladewing Risen, or whatever his name is. Um, yeah. And in order just to save some clicks, I'm going to opt now. We are looking for um, Mizzix Mastery at this point. Another command isn't bad. Ways of interacting while making mana. Whenever a creature you control with one or less attacks deals one, that's fine. Okay, so I'm just going to pass here. Likely Prismari Command. That's a big creature. Okay. We can always bounce that with uh, Into the Royal. So I want to draw two and deal two. All right. So there, I probably should have waited. That was a mistake. On my, I guess it's one damage either way with this thing. We found the mastery. That's pretty sweet. Um, hmm. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, I think so. Alright, so I'm actually just going to pass here. And then on their turn, I'm going to kick into the Royal on this thing. Uh, sure. So this makes one ones, right? Yeah, for zero. And then that's going to trigger these. So the reason I waited a turn is I really want to draw a land. Ah. Now we're going to take four going to 12. Because Dragon's Run for two is a little bit weak. All right, we found the land. So let's cast Brainstorm, put this Terror back on top. Get a free shuffle effect here. So now this is going to be a mastery for three, which I believe is not lethal. So we can get two dragons and then Rorix, and I believe that puts them to one. Pretty sure it puts them to one. Now we get Rorix. So this is going to deal them eight. Never mind, they're definitely dead. Now this comes into play and deals them ten. Yeah, that's just lethal. Math is very difficult. Please forgive me. Uh, but we've been red in uh, game number one. That's pretty sweet. Melee, crush the weak. These all seem like great cards. Mystical dispute doesn't seem that great here, so let's get rid of that. Um... And then we have this Niv Mizzet as my spicy tech in the board. I realized I didn't go over the board in the deck tech, uh, but I'll be honest, it's sort of thrown together. I don't have this like really mapped out. I sort of looked at what other decks were doing and just copied various things that I liked. So uh, 
yeah, that's what we're working with here. Um, what to take out? I think I can probably take out like one solve. It's a little bit of a slow card in this matchup. Yeah, let's do this. Looks pretty good to me. If you need help keeping track of, you know, Storm and Mana, there's nothing better than the Epic Storm Token Pack. For $12, you get 54 Storm Tokens. 20 Storm, 10 Black, 10 Red, 5 Blue, 3 of the rest. 54 Goblin Tokens on the back for your copies of Empty the Warrens. And then they're mini. They're half the size of a standard Magic of the Gathering card. You can get those at theepicstorm.com slash shop. All right, so we're on the draw. This hand is pretty darn good. We're going to keep this. So we don't have any interaction until turn three, which is a little bit scary. Um, dragon, we're just gonna do this now, save some time. Okay, next turn we're likely just playing the steam vents. And then we have crush the weak or prismari command on turn three, depending on what the opponent does. Ooh, they missed their land. Uh, the intervention's not really what we need at the moment. Did they hit the land? Taking one again. Yikes. It's a rough break. I could have... Uh... They're just going to concede. Okay, so we're going to win our first match. I could have foretold the Crush the Week last turn, but I didn't want to telegraph it. I probably should have mentioned that. Um, but we got lucky and we won round number one. That was pretty fast. Hopefully we win a bunch more. Don't go anywhere. Dragonstorm is going to be cast, hopefully, again. All right. Round number two. We're on the play once again. I think this is a mulligan. So we do have opt, but the rest of the hands is very clunky. I don't love this. Gross. We're in trouble. We need to draw some lands. So aggro is a good... I mean, if we had to face any archetype aggro is, like, not the worst, considering that we mulliganed. Like, we're not going to be able to beat a control deck with our hand. So, assuming that they are an aggro deck, ah, it's control. Shouldn't have opened up my fat mouth. land don't want that okay hoping that our opponent taps out for something on their turn giving us a chance to resolve dragonstorm and by resolve dragonstorm i mean like i'm going to looting on their end stop. I guess I could have just cast solve the equation. Maybe I should have put some thought into that. Hmm. I think I'm just going to take my draw step. I should have cast solve last turn. Oh, that's actually pretty brutal. Should I just get brainstorm? Well, they had a spell pierce. Uh, but I mean, we sh still should have cast the solve last turn. Mistake on my part. Not playing super well so far tonight. Upon using the Renegade map. So 
so they're just playing go, I guess. Um, all right, so we're good to discard one peaks here, and I think the other card we discard is actually just looting. Not really sure what our opponent's playing still. Okay. I don't know when t the Time Warp Band went in effect. It, this could be that deck. I don't know. It was banned today. The announcement was today, but I don't know if it immediately goes into effect or not. I didn't consider that before recording. So we can destroy this and then loot. Still looking for Dragon Storm. We finally hit one. Um, Don't know if I should. I don't think I want to discard the mastery. So I think I'll discard the land. All right, and then try to put this on top. Get rid of that dragon. We don't want to draw that. I'm going to hold the opt. Need that storm count, though. This was the game we discarded mastery. So we're going to 10... Maybe I should try to find, like, Mystical Dispute or something. They should let this one resolve and then counter the one on Dragonstorm. It looks like that's what they were doing. Really? Just not afraid of dragons. Is your hand all removal? Now the last one. I don't know what our opponent's waiting on. Did they just have nothing in their hand this whole game? Woot woot. Get the helix out of here. Not good enough. Not good enough to stop the dragon storm. Alright, so we should probably bring in some, you know, interactive cards. Let's get rid of these removal spells. Uh, is Narset a card that I want? Probably. This seems like a great spot for Niv Mizzet. I think I want Narset here. 
Maybe board down on solves, take out a couple looting. This seems fine to me. Uh, yeah, let's do it. I'm the draw for game number two against some sort of just guy control deck by the looks of it. Not super confident in that assessment, but if I had to guess it's just guy control, we're going to keep this. I feel like I got a little bit lucky winning that game one that I probably shouldn't have. Let's cast this opt. I don't know if I want that. I feel like you just want lands. The point of being very patient, not casting anything. I want another dispute. Why not? I'm the control deck here. Okay. Sure. That could have killed Narset. Looking for a land here. Good pickup. And it resolves. Let's get rid of these dragons. Shuffle those away. And I'm going to get a mountain here. So something that I'm considering is what if we draw niv it? I want to be able to cast it. So we want red mana. How about that? Um, opponent tapped a little bit low. So I think we're supposed to try to resolve Narsa here. Just instantly resolved. How about that? They might not be playing Counterspell. I guess we saw the Spell Pierce, but everything they do is just like... I don't know. I'm getting weird vibes from this. Um, I'm going to brainstorm because I think I want to get rid of this looting. Well, maybe we keep one looting now. Hmm. I'm going to be able to hard cast dragons from this game soon. What should I do here? I think it's just discard both. And pass. So this is an interesting spot. I could try to mastery into Dragonstorm. Uh, but that's not lethal, so instead what I'm going to do is uh, make a treasure and loot on our next turn. I think that would actually be better. 
and then we can actually bring back Nidiv Mizzet that way. And here, if they have a Gear Hulk to kill our Narset, we can just counter the Gear Hulk as well. Or I can just destroy it, which is probably better. Oh, I should have just countered that. That was dumb. I forgot about the uh, the Helix. Alright, so I'm going to let that go. And... We will destroy target artifact and treasure. And that was a little bit dumb of me when I could have just used the dispute. I, I completely forgot about the helix in the graveyard. Playing poorly. I still feel like I'm going to win this, but could be playing better. Alright, so now we can maybe convert this Nivmizit into something. Apparently that something is a land. And do we have another mastery in here? I don't think we do. All right, so it's just Dragon Storm. Really? Uh, giving me Storm Count here. I can't believe they did that. That was not a good move. I don't know what they were thinking. Like, I didn't even have lethal. But we're going to be 2-0 to start off this historic event. Um, I'm going to get Niv for laughs. Kill them with the Niv-Mizzet. Ooh, I've never seen Niv in play before. It has this cool animation. Love it. Woo, woo. Niv-Mizzet, clearly the card that won this match. Uh, the science backs it up. We're 2-0. Uh, I need to quit playing so poorly if we're going to 5-0 this because I've been playing like trash. Uh, but maybe tr playing like trash is the key to winning. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'll see you in round number three. We're in round number three, and we have the Ugin Icon Mirror. Pretty cool. I don't know. It's fine, I guess. But uh, we're on the draw. No clue what our opponent's playing. I traditionally don't look up usernames for arena just there's so many people and people change decks all the time so i don't bother uh this is probably fine okay here are, so they're likely a control deck yep as seen by this hallowed fountain Our hand's actually pretty good for the control mirror. We just have to find a Mizzix Mastery. Mm. Yeah, land four is probably fine. Okay. I was actually talking recently about Kahira and how it's just like a sign that you don't play any main deck threats. So like it gives away that you're on like a combo deck or control, but most likely control. Um, so it's just like not as interesting as it could be. Oh, that hurts. Uh, and there's the master. I guess I can blow it up with the command. Um, yeah. Might want to wait until I have Dispute Backup, though. I 
Chris Mari command looking pretty good here. Please tap out. It would be delightful. I think the effects happen in order, so I don't think I'm allowed to use this to loot and destroy this. Uh, maybe that's wrong. Yeah, that's wrong. It's because there, there's no area in between to respond, I think. That, that was just wrong. Um, but I'm not supposed to cast the command. I will definitely take another dispute. Alright, I'm just going to have double counter back up then. Sure. Saw Wrath of God and then Sacred Foundry, okay. Dragon Storm, this version has looked a lot better than the one I went zero uh, and five with earlier today. They can exile my fabled passages, I don't care. They have five mana open. Okay. So we discard Dragon Storm and Canal. And now we try to resolve a Dragon Storm. Wonder if I'm supposed to Mizzix Mastery. Probably, or uh, not Mizzix Mastery, Prismari Command. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to. I think that's likely just wrong. That is not how I want to tap. Um, auto tapper almost got us there. Please try to counter. Come on, let's get into a counter war over this. All right, so now this is just going to increase our storm count. We should be able to win this. Either they tap three mana here to pay for dispute. All right, and now we mystical again. Whoop, whoop, storm five, we get all of the dragons. It's just not fair. Ding. Dragon storm looking easy so far. Easy. Cut a few of those looting. Get rid of the sweepers. I think we cut two solves. Yeah, this just looks great. Gladly hit submit on that again. That was just... I mean, we're rolling. I, the deck I played earlier today, I felt like it was really bad. And like this version... It's just like more in on the graveyard and less in on hard casting is way more smooth. Uh, the version I played this morning wasn't mono red, it was blue red, but it still had the Ironcrag feet and the fork, where this just has like Prismari commands and sweepers and I don't know, it just seems better to me.
At least in my opinion. If you want to see your deck here on this channel, you go to theepicsrealm.com slash donation decks. We have three wonderful tiers for you to choose from. That's where you submit your combo deck to be featured here on this channel. Sadly, we do not accept arena donations. Uh, it's just too costly with, um, you know, wild cards and whatnot. So, sadly, no arena. On the draw for game number two. Honestly, this deck might be better than the Mind's Desire one. Like, winning the game off Storm 3 is just very, very nice. Sure. I mean, Double Nurse, that's pretty sweet. We do have to hit land number 3 in order to make this hand work, though. That's a good way of starting. All right, so they're going to have a chance to cast Brainstorm if they want to here. We'll gladly take the land. I'm sort of bluffing with this Steam Vents, but it does leave us a backdoor Brainstorm into Mystical Dispute. Um, or I guess, theoretically, a one of Spell Pierce as well. Next turn, I'm likely just slamming the Narset, forcing the opponent to have a counter spell. What do you have, opponent? Ooh, that's a good sign for Narset. So they would be looking for a land, and they found the land here. So they will have Mystical Dispute up. Okay. start uh, playing spells that they need to counter. Okay. I don't know how much I care about that. Um, obviously it makes the looting worse, but I don't know if that's a big deal. New Relic. Well, Relic is a big deal. Um, destroy target artifact. Target player makes a treasure. Get that out of here. Next turn, I do have uh, looting into Dragonstorm. Assuming that our opponent taps out again. And if they don't tap out, we could always play, uh, like, Narset or something. Alright, so they have double counter at the moment. Hmm. It's non-creature. I could just hard cast this, but then Teferi tucks it. Uh, there's the memory lapse, too. I 
Maybe I wasn't supposed to make the treasure. Maybe I was supposed to just shock the Narsa. And that hoping that they just tapped out was too greedy. Because if they tap if they tapped out, we had looting into mastery with discarding these. They're just never tapping out again with the Teferi. Alright, I think I'm going to concede this one. We're just too far behind. And maybe that I'm supposed to board and fry here. Get rid of another solve. I think solve is just a little too slow in this matchup. Maybe board in a braid as well. Yeah, this seems fine. If they're going to have a like four main deck relic, we might as well board in a braid. This is a sneaky turn uh, for mastery if we can hit the lands. Bladewing is uh, one of the worst dragons you can open hand because, ooh, brainstorm is good. Uh, because you can't discard it and then like get it back later like you can some of the other ones. Unfortunately, Brainstorm is good, but we didn't have a land off it, which is something we desperately needed. So we're likely not going to be able to slam Nurse at next turn. Unless we draw an untapped land. No land. Digging. Land a hey. All right, no Narsa, please. I think if they had Narsa, they'd just slam it here. I'm not sure what they're doing. Perfect draw for us. We're just going to pass back now. On their end step, we're going to Prismari Command, discard these two. We can get back Terror with the Bladewing uh, Dragon, which is something we've done in the first two, and that will be lethal. Alright, so I believe our opponent has to discard if they don't do anything. Not the case. Alright. We want to draw another counter spell. Didn't hit a counter spell. I think we're still supposed to go for mastery, but I'm not sure. Maybe I should just play Narsat then. I 
Narset resolves. That's interesting. We might have like a lightning helix or something. Yep, they had the helix. So Narset's gone. But honestly, I'm fine with converting Narset into a dispute for next turn. Oh, well, that hurt. I think we're on the hardcast dragon's plan. So we only have one more basic in the deck. Okay, so we're likely going to look to filter this into a card that we can use with Prismari Command. Nope. Get out of here, Teferi. I want that. So we have this is gonna be seven. We're not that far away from hard casting um, Dragon Storm. See if we can loot into it. Um, come on, Doc. Nope. So they're going to tuck our terror here in the, oh, oh, they didn't tuck. Okay, that's interesting. wonder why that was. So they have counterspell it maybe? Oh, they just hadn't used it yet. I thought they had already drawn the card. And no reason to show them the fetch land. Like, I want to redraw this anyway. You've hated out the graveyard, my friend. So we can pay for dispute here. Yeah. They're just time walking us over and over. Now they get to draw a card with the fairy. Here we go again. I'm 
really should be spells or abilities. Come on. That is a big shark. And I think we're going to lose this round. We had a window to cast uh, Mastery on Dragon's Storm. We didn't take it because we wanted double backup. And perhaps that cost us. That said, our opponent had four untapped lands. Um, so I don't know if you're supposed to jam there. Interesting. They chose not to attack. If we ever drew dragons from, we could cast it. So our opponent knows that we're drawing terror on our next draw step. And I have to imagine that they have interaction in their hand by now. They've just had so long to rebuild. We're just being held in check here. Nurse that's going to clear. Uh, they've been like brainstorm locked for a few turns. And another shark typhoon, that's going to seal it. I mean, we've probably already lost, let's be honest, but that's just going to make it very easy for the opponent. Can't afford to block. Try this again. All right, I'm just going to scoop it up. We've lost. I don't want to waste any more time. All right, so we're 2-1 and one now. Got a battle back. No more losses to give. Round number four. We're on the draw, and uh, this is a pretty stellar hand, so we're definitely going to keep this. What is Magnus on? Another blue control deck. Fun. All right. Could cast looting here. I'd rather leave up dispute. I'm also like thinking that we might be able to sneak in. Uh, drawing blade wing was bad. Um, the mastery.
sure. It's fine. So many control decks in these things. The one side of uh, playing five dragons is if you draw too many of them, then uh, it's not very good. So unfortunately, we can't mastery this turn. Just play this out, I guess. Why not? Let's see if we can filter a little bit. Brainstorm's fine. Let's see what they do here. Tough. They're gonna have counter spell mana open, which is unfortunate. But they'll need a Dovin's Veto or another Memory Lapse. Maybe they won't have one, I don't know. Or they could try to counter this Brainstorm. I gladly accept that. Let's see if I can get this to resolve. It's happening! The sickening! Boom. Now we get Blade Wing. Yes, I would like to take action. Woot woot! How about that? Alright, the same way we've been boarding. I think I'm going to leave the abrade this time. Get rid of the sweepers. You have to do one more. Um, let's try that. Why not? My first time playing Dragonstorm uh, in an event. Otherwise, it's just, you know, like ladder play. And I don't play a lot of Arena, so I'm brown. So you find you find yourself facing a lot of wacky stuff. So I haven't really figured out this deck yet. I'm still kind of learning. If you have any better suggestions, feel free to let me know. I'm always, you know, growing. And I don't know everything. I'm just trying to figure things out. So if you have a good plan, share it. I guess while we wait, if you want to support us, you can always go to theepicstorm.com slash shop. It's a great way of doing that. I would highly recommend the token pack. It's probably our best seller. Uh, we have about 30 of the first uh, generation of mini token packs left. Go pick one up. All right, game two is starting against Magnus. I think it's just too greedy to keep this. Sure. Get rid of the fry. Gonna sit on this brainstorm, I think. So that's the uh, didn't see it coming, I think it's called. So that's what we should be expecting there. That or it's uh, the two mana one. 
what is it called? Into the Multiverse, it could also be that. I struggle with card names sometimes, I'm old, forgive me. Uh, just play out an island. I did not mean to click that. That would have been a good spot for us to slam our own Narset if we drew it. And instead we'll just cast Opt here. Another brainstorm. See if we can find a fetch land here. Nope. Um, I guess double land is fine. Alright, that is technically a clock. I mean, we're just going to pass. Don't have a lot going on. I'm going to collect my graveyard. Opponent activating their Castle Vantress on our end step. If we have some time with this 2 2, uh, the fear is if they make a larger shark, the chip damage from this starts to matter. Let's try this again. No, just infinite dragons. Um, yeah, I have to pass. It's not looking good for us. Okay, so we're taking another two here. Okay, I intentionally put the terror on the bottom. I don't really need to draw that. Going to 12. I mentioned how this chip damage starts to add up. Maybe third brainstorm's the charm. Okay. We have like three basics left in the deck, I think. One island and two mountains. Nope, just two mountains. Um, try to eat out some more counter spells here. They still have the didn't see it coming over here. Can't forget about that. We have seven lands, so we're still two man away from Hardcast and Dragonstorm. They likely have a counter spell to back up this Teferi. Not a whole lot we can do about it. Yep. 
they had the guaranteed counter spell, so they finally used uh, their foretell card. Interesting. Okay, so if we have a removal spell, we could theoretically kill the shark. And then kill the Teff. Uh, let's negate that. Hmm. I think it's probably better to take the Mastery. Force him to block with the shark here. Interesting that they didn't try to either gust uh, earlier on. So they know that we have, okay, well they have wrath, that's why. They're probably gonna tuck the Narset if I had a guess. I guess you could just plus, they're gonna tuck. That's fine. They four open mana, three cards in hand. Might as well try to play the nurse at again. Does this get a counter spell? It does not love it. So I could try to kill to fairy right now. This demands a counter spell, so if they have one, they'll probably use it. Looks like a result. So it's we're free to discard one dragon storm here. Is the land better than solve the equation? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if we'll ever realistically be able to storm this. Another tough. Well, they're probably going to tuck this one again if I had a guess. So that's land number nine. It's 8 to overload this, so we can actually overload Mastery right now. Boom! Hell yeah! <laughs> the hard way! 3-1! That was sweet. Round 5, we're on the play. Driller, 8-12. Let's go. Opponent quickly took a mulligan. And the Garrick Avatar. Be nice to face something that just wasn't blue white. Not usually a blue white land. Um, let's just play this one and pass. Sorry about that. Birds on my air conditioner scared me. Ooh, good pick up there. So 
So we're at the point where if we find Dragonstorm off uh, this Prismari command, we just win the game. Which is kind of cool. Alright, so I guess we loot and make an artifact. Dragonstorm? Let's see it. This doesn't seem like the sort of deck to have counter spells. And we hit it. Unfortunately, we also hit the Blade Wing. Um, not a whole lot I can do about that, though. Brainstorm off the top. Not brainstorm. I think I'm actually just gonna pass here. Because it's only a dragon storm for two, which is a little bit weak. So I'm gonna try to find another spell first. Maybe uh kick this into the royal. They'll be able to uh, draw a card with their Maze Mind, but they chose not to. All right. So we drew a free, or I shouldn't say a free, a card that allows us to still mastery this turn. Another Dragon Storm. This actually isn't lethal because we have the blade wing in hand. It's going to get the last three dragons out of the deck. So if they have a sweeper here, uh, it's kind of bad for us. And they're just going to concede. Awfully nice of them. They weren't even dead. So some sort of weird uh, colorless deck maybe. I'm not quite sure. Three cards need to come out. Um, is Mystical Dispute still good against a deck like this? That's a question I do have. Um, I think we can probably afford to take one out. At least one. Let's try this, I guess. I don't want to take too many disputes out. I mean, it is still just a bad mana leak uh, at the bare minimum. Historic, at least this deck doesn't seem super fast, so we have that going for us, which is nice. Let's see if we can get a fourth win. I don't think I've gotten to four wins in any of my historic videos yet. All right, Blade Wing, get out of here. I remember opening Blade Wing from PAX as a kid. Back in my day, we opened up Junkers and we liked it. I have no clue what our opponent's doing. Yeah, I'm just lost at whatever they're trying to do over there. Looting. Let's cast it. All right, so we hit the dragon storm. That's good. I think we're supposed to get rid of one of the solve the equations. Uh, 
I don't know how much we care about Maze Mind Tome. So they can have the land, I guess. So then Ugin would go underneath. Well, I guess it gets exile, but when you play in paper this card, you would put them underneath Karn. Um, let's just bounce Karn. Get out of here, you thick boy. All right. So we can solve here for mastery. But once again, it's not lethal. It appears to just be like some sort of mono black control deck. I don't really know what's going on. The other Karn. Maybe it's just Karn Tribal. Um, do they not have the land to activate? It looks like no. So I should be able to abrade that on our turn. Part of me wants to be really greedy and then attempt a looting into a braid. Because we have to find... Uh, crap. I'm just going to braid it. Play it a little bit safe. Well, we just lost to that. <sighs> yep. I was not expecting thought distortion. You know what? I'm going to concede, save some time here. Let's just go to game three. It's going to resubmit as well. Wonder if I played that wrong. Probably not. Like, I don't think I'm supposed to um, be playing around a thought distortion there. Because, like, even if I do cast mastery, it's only for two dragons, which is just like sort of weak. I don't think I can keep that. Get rid of you, get rid of you. Okay, let's get lucky. Sure. Can the Mulda Five win, or will be will be be will we be eliminated? There we go. Talking's very difficult. That's step one: finding Dragon Storm. So now we have to find a mastery. So this will give them six mana next turn. Sure. I'm not going to play around Thought Distortion. Yep. So now they guarantee have six mana next turn. Hmm. 
Well, that's going to get countered. I could have Prismari commanded to destroy an artifact to stop them from being able to cast it, but they had the seventh land anyway, or seventh mana anyway, so it didn't matter. So our opponent's hellbent. I think I was supposed to fetch in response to that. It's fine. I guess I can keep it around for a brainstorm. Yikes. They should probably start sacrificing mind stones. So it's worth noting the blade wing is in our graveyard. So we're gonna need four swarm to actually win. So it's pretty unlikely at this point. I mean, it's something. We might be able to convert these now. All right, so we're at 12. I'm trying to figure out what we would have to draw here. So even that true life matters a little bit. Still not going to sacrifice the Fable Passage in case we draw Brainstorm. Yikes. Ugin Tribal, I was wrong. So this is just like Black Ramp, I guess? Come on, Doc. Give me the nuts. Well, Brainstorm was what I said we needed to hit. I think I'm supposed to take a draw and keep this for Storm Count, maybe? Because we need, like, Storm 4 in order to win. Mm. I'm going to cast it now. Yikes. That was bad. So I think I'll, I should be able to kill the Ugin with the Dragon Triggers. Uh, that's going to have to be good enough. And we have exactly enough mana to solve for Mastery. Mm. 
Now we get three dragons. How many counters does Ugin have? I mean, we did mold a five this game, so it's something. I think our, our opponent should probably just start on like activating Hedron Archive to draw two. So if we drew the fourth terror, we could actually win on our turn. Um, because it would deal 15 when it came into play, and then we would attack for 15. I'm trying to think if like if I drew a mastery, what's the best I could even do with it? So if I attack with a dragon and kill the Ugin next turn, uh, they can swing out, activating these. So they actually have lethal on board. So I have to draw my out right now. Um, what does that do? I think I boarded out the anger. So I think we might still be dead. Prismari command. Yeah, boarded out anger. So I can get command and I can deal two and then, okay. I mean, it's something. So, hypothetically, hmm, I think I just have to pass. Because if I kill this, kill this, they have 10 damage on board. We're just really, really dead here. This deck felt good, though. I'll say that. Um, okay. So uh, I can kill that, but it should be lethal now. Um, destroy target artifact, two damage. So if our opponent's smart, I think they still have lethal. Uh, they would kill a dragon with Ugin and then activate their guardian idols and swing out. Do they have the mana to activate three? Um, I can't tell. One, four, five. Weird that they didn't play this first.
We were a turn behind. If we drew this last turn, we actually would have won. Um, so I get to deal a bunch of damage here. If we do 10 to them, they'll put them to 17. I'm trying to think. So if I put them to 17, they can then swing back. I can block one and die. So one there. They have all four guardian idols. Ugh. So if I swing out, I would go to one if I block? No, that's lethal. Just have to pass. I also uh, don't have another wing I don't know how I'd win this. Like, all my dragons are in play. Uh, and the blade wing's gone. And I boarded out the anger. I guess I could kill multiple of these with, like, um, what's it called? Prismari Command. That's my out. Sure. Storm one. Let's mill those. All right. Whoops. No attacks. Maybe having a bunch of counters in the deck is wrong against the deck with Thought Distortions. Maybe I should have just had... And that's actually going to kill us. Alright, so I'll concede here. Save myself a few seconds. Uh, we won 3-2. It's not bad. I also don't think I played perfectly. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Hopefully you enjoyed this video still. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing. This might be better than, you know, Desire Storm. If I'm being completely honest. Um... Let's see what we get out of our three magical cards. Ooh. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this. You know, if you did like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, cheers. Take care. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.